Come on, man. We're gonna be late, y'all. Come on, man. Shit. Damn. I love it. Right Let's go. I know what you mean. Man, come on, yo. Come on. No, it's See? Good. I can't. That's what happened. Shit, stay out the pussy out of me. Oh, shit. We ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> got on half a shirt. <laughs> oh, damn, you hard as shit to wake up, dude. You drinking all night? I had an orgy. And you got the fucking keys in the car. Are you fucking... Fuck. I got, you gotta get there. We ain't got time to wait for this. We gotta go. Like a walk? Walk. We gotta go, man. We got an hour. Fucking God. Some bullhucker shit. <sighs> By the time we get there, I ain't gonna be high no more fucking with you. Oh, man. Fuck it, suck it up. The following material may not be suitable for small children, some adults, a few senior citizens, many farm animals, and most households. Downstairs. Get your badges. Welcome to New News. I heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Trio, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ladies. Has this ever happened to you? You got in the bed with a nigga. He was acting like he was about to tear you up. You was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Then he get in the bed and he ain't ready. Yeah, that's what happened to me tonight. I can't take it when they do shit like that. Just whack as hell. I might as well have been in the bed with my goddamn self. Yeah, next time I will be. Next time I will. Shit, whack as a bitch. Damn. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm tearing this ass. Ah, oh. oh, 
Oh, shit! I'm about to nut! Oh, yeah. Come on, Keisha. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, oh yes. Woo! You good? Yes. All right, look. Keisha, before you say anything, I'm sorry. I know it was only eight minutes. But round two, I'm not your socks off. Round two? Nigga, you won't even a round one. What the fuck? Eight minutes? <laughs> you mean like eight pumps? Nigga? And as far as a sock, hey, next time make sure you practice with that motherfucker before you call me. Put your whack ass. You funny shit. Oh my God. <laughs> like that. I mean, you you got to understand. Okay? Understand my ass. Understand you're in the bed by your goddamn self right now. Understand that. Oh, so you're going to leave? Motherfucker, I'm gone already. <laughs> I, I, I told you, like, okay, well, let's start over round one. Start over by yourself. That was a true shot. That hurts. At least one of us got a shot. God damn. All right, okay. All right, that's fine. Go. Just go if you want. Go. Go ahead. Get your shit. Are you still here? Got my shit already. No, I'm just lying. Come on, let's try it again. I'm, come on, please. Try it, like You just tried it again. <laughs> hey, can we just go ahead? Come on. No. Come on. No. You putting your fucking shirt on and all yeah. this shit? You better know it. So it's real. You, unlike that sex was? Oh my god. The fuck? Got me in this motherfucker. Motherfucker? The fuck? Keisha! Hey, next time be one out before you holler at me with your whack ass. Superman, my motherfucking ass. What the heck? Keisha, I need you. Round two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Chino, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What's up, everybody? Back again with Stories with Corey. So, I used to be a server at a restaurant uh, down in Carolina. It was a soul food buffet. Um, I'm a chef by trade, but I just wanted to try serving tables to, you know, get a, you know, feel of the front of the house and how it goes, you know, out on the floor. So. I go to the table one night and I have this man and his daughter. Now the man is blind and his daughter. So, you know, I go in and I, I take care of him, you know, the best I can. And at the end of the meal, the daughter says, could you do me a favor? I'm like, sure, you know, we try to give outstanding service. You know what I'm saying? She's like, can you take my dad to the bathroom? I said, Hmm, but, you know, I'm trying to get a good service, you know what I'm saying? So, I say, sure. So, I go, and, you know, the man gets up, and I escort this nigga to the bathroom like a prom date, you know, with your elbow out and arm through your elbow and shit. So, I take him to the bathroom, and that was about as far as I was trying to go, but... He needed some else. So I put him in front of the urinal. I pointed him in the right direction. I asked him, was he good? He told me he was fine. I said, all right, I'll be outside. When you finish, call me. And I'll get you back to your table. So I get outside. And a few minutes, you know, after I get outside, I hear something go, shwap. It didn't sound too good. So I'm like, what the hell was that? So I peek in the bathroom, and as I'm peeking in, he says, Hey, Corey, I need some help. As soon as I open the door, I look, and he's got his pants down at his ankles. So when I walk in the bathroom, all I see is ass, dick, and balls. So I'm like, okay, 
definitely not the scene that I was trying to see when I came in here. So he's like, I dropped my cane. And he's dropped his cane in between him and the urinal. So now I got to bend down by his dick to pick the cane up off the floor. So now if anybody comes in the bathroom while I'm picking this cane up, it's really going to look bad. So I held on to the door and I put my foot out. Then I slid this cane over to the sink with my foot, picked his cane up, and damn near picked him up and carried his ass to his table so he can get the fuck out. Once again, the story's with Corey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Trio, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm about to pull up like jumpers. Only think about them commas. 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 Only thing we got in common. I'm about to pull up like jumpers. I'm for the all my nigga we boss. Say all my nigga we boss. Yeah. This is that new paper game shit. This is for bosses only. If you're not a boss, this excludes you. You know what I'm saying? Hey. We boss, yeah. all my nigga, we boss. Uh -huh. Big money, we talk, right. talk, top That's knock right, right off. off. Cocaine, Cocaine, no flaws. Huh. All my bitches all take trips. Yes. I get you killed off the strip. We really strip. Pay the game, talk shit. Real. Let me show you all my nigga, we boss. Big money, we talk, top knock right off. Cocaine, no flaws. All my bitches take trips. Trips, I get you killed off the strip. Pay the game, talk bricks. And nigga know my clip. Say all my nigga, we boss. trouble with kicking the gift. You know how we do it. Right now we're going to tell you about C.R. Patterson, an emancipated slave. In 1864 he was a slave. In 1865 he was free. By 1866 he had started building buggies. That's right, buggies for your horses. And guess what? Those Patterson buggies ran all the way through the 1900s and were the best buggies ever made. He got bored with buggies and said, hey, let's stop working the horses and let me create an engine for the front of this buggy. And he called it an automobile. Yes, it was called the Patterson. 
And they said if it's a Patterson, it must be running well because it's a Patterson. That's right, Patterson had built a car 10 years before Henry Ford, and Henry Ford did not invent a car. He invented quote-unquote mass production, which came from who? You know it, George Washington Carver. We'll get on that in another story. But C.R. Patterson invented the greatest car ever made, and the reason why it was never mass-produced because it would prove to be a much better vehicle than Henry Ford's Model T could ever be. So that meant a black man invented the first car with the best Patterson that's right, Patterson. I didn't say pattern, Patterson. If it's a running car, it was a Patterson. This is her with no trouble kicking the gift. Check out C.R. Patterson making that first car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Chino, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Adele Pusey. And just between us girls, has this ever happened to you? Did you just go to the bathroom? Fuck it. Embarrassing, isn't it? Well, the ladies at the Puse family say no more. We've developed a product just for this situation. That's good shit. <laughs> the Puse Lint Remover. This handy dandy little fella is perfect for when you've just come back from the bathroom and they used the extra linty toilet paper. Is it painful? Absolutely. Will it hurt? How does it work? Simple. You just use the adhesive side, put it over the area that you've got lint, and roll it back and forth. The stickiness of it will pick up every little bit of lint hair and maybe some skin along the way. Simply roll the lint remover over the affected area. People ask, does it hurt? Absolutely. Some people say, should you really be putting that kind of sticky adhesive material that close to such a sensitive area? No! But that's not the point, is it, ladies? The point is that we should always look our best, especially for a man when he's going down there. <laughs> Some reviewers have said, we're insane. Some reviewers have said, why bother with this? And other reviewers have said, it's just a fucking lint roller. And maybe they're right. But we thought, it works. So why bother changing it? At the end of the day, their satisfaction is worth more than your pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Chino, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is her no trouble with kicking the gift. And let me tell you about your gifts that we forget about all the time. We use a lot of things and don't know where they come from. But if you don't know where you come from, how to know where your world do you know where you're going? Look here. Every time you turn on your light, they say, bam, do you know what time it is that light comes on? Every time you pick up your cell phone, bam, do you know what time it is when you pick that cell phone is? Well, I'm going to tell you what time it is. There was a guy by the name of Thomas Edison that they said something about. And there was another guy by Graham that they said something about. And these guys were supposed to have invented some things called a telephone and something to do with lighting. But guess what? There was a brown man, Louis Latimer. Look him up, Louis Latimer. This brown man was the one that made the lamp last by creating incandescent and fluorescent lighting also. And then he made the light last for more than two to three days. Man, they were stuck. And then the telephone, it was a patent. He was so smart, he just had it sitting around. So right now, the products that you use most, you're responsible for. But guess what? You don't know where you come from. 
so you will never know where you're going. Lewis Latimer, every time you pick up your cell phone, every time you click your light, remember, brown man did it. You know how we do it. Kicking the gift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Chino, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I just recently lost 200 pounds and now my chest looks like this. Is there any product out there that can help me? Fellas, have you just recently lost weight and you're still living with the insecurity of your man boobs? Having to avoid places like water parks, beaches, and community swimming pools? And having to fuck with the lights off and your shirt on because your areolas are big as your grandmother's? Well, the solution is now here. Made from the company that provided Clitorine, now offers ARC, ARC, Areola Reduction Cream. Apply twice a day, areolas away. If you are using ARC, please follow instructions as directed. Ask your doctor if ARC is right for you. ARC is a unisex cream. Side effects may include rashes, nausea, Oprah's weight problems, Tourette's, higher gas prices, oily stool, anxiety, nipples falling off, continuous rejection, loss of sexual desire, extreme foot odor, and loss of limbs. If any of these may occur, discontinue use of ARC and contact 911, if you still have both arms that is. Apply twice a day, ARC, areola reduction cream. By Memon, Squash Quash and Company. Thanks, Art. My chest looks great. Now all I need is some pecs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott Chino, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Getting any better until the first day that I met her. She the queen, I'm the king on the grind. A night, she tell me everything on her mind. When I fall, she help me rise like the sun. And she always on my side like my gun. And when I'm in the hole like a cavity, shorty hold me down like gravity. Yes, sir, I was blessed. Even at my worst, she let me know I'm the best. Good times got us crying from laughter. And when I'm not with her, niggas try to get at her. Just the other day when I was rapping to her She told me I was the best thing that ever happened to her Yup, she's the one I need And when I dream, the only one I see Shorty Can't nobody love me like you So 
I'ma do my thing for it. Beyonce style, I'ma put a ring on it. Can't wait till I marry my lady. Better yet, I can't wait till she carry my baby. And this here's my favorite story. I come home, food and drinks is waiting for me. She know me well, she can tell when I'm lying. And when I'm fucking up, she can tell that I'm trying. Watch bootlegs today, tomorrow's the opera. The world is ours and ain't no stopping us. By my side, out in Vegas holding grand. Atlantic City boardwalk holding hands. We were blessed with some goodness, yup. Even when we going through the bullshit. It's just the way we roll, okay? And I'ma love her till we old and great. Shorty. Told me 
Yeah, yeah. Like a box full of bankrolls. Yeah, yeah. 